Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can use Azure Active Directory as a claim provider with ADFS. That means you have some of the applications on-prem uh, for which you want the guest users which are added in your Azure AD tenant should be able to log in. So once you add Azure Active Directory as a claim provider on the ADFS itself, then the external accounts will be able to log in. So this particular demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Azure AD as a claim provider on ADFS. And then with the help of an external account, I'll try to access ADFS page and let's see if it works or not. So this will be a complete uh, lab demo. So what I'll do is I'll quickly switch to my ADFS server. And uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a claim provider trust. Now, before I should add the uh, claim provider trust. What I need is the federation metadata of my tenant. Now, in order to get uh, the federation metadata of your tenant, what you can do is you can simply navigate or you can simply search for login.microsoftonline.com federation metadata. And the first article itself will let you know how you can find uh, the federation metadata specifically for your tenant. So, this is the link wherein you have to replace tenant domain name with the name of your tenant. Uh, for this demo, I have already done this. And what I'll do now is I'll quickly navigate to this particular link and let's see. Yeah, so this is the Federation metadata of my tenant. Now, the reason behind why I tried accessing this link because if just because of some SSL certificate issues or just because of some firewall block or something like that. If this particular link is not accessible on the ADFS, then you might not be able to create the claim provider trust. Then I'll go to add claim provider trust and I'll click on start here and I will paste uh, the federation metadata link of my tenant. I'll click on next and then I will name it as let's say guest users. And then I'll click on close. That's it. That's all required. Now, this is how uh, the current ADFS page uh, looks like. But I hope once I click on sign in, I should start getting an option of uh, Azure AD guest users. And yes, exactly. I'm getting it now. Now, you see that I'm redirected uh, from my ADFS page to login.microsoftonline.com. Let's see if uh, the authentication is uh, going to work. It will not because till a my Azure AD doesn't have any reference in terms of uh, the request uh, that has been sent to uh, AD, uh, to Azure AD from ADFS. So I should get an error here. Yeah. So see, as you can see that uh, my uh, uh, the login.microsoftonline.com itself is uh, giving you an error that this an application with an, this particular identifier does not exist. Now what we'll do is we'll go to Azure AD and we will register an application. Uh, and this application will be the details of my ADFS server. So let's say it's ADFS here and sign on URL should be the ADFS IDP initiated page. So once I submit all these details, the application, uh, this uh, ADFS page is more over registered like an application here for which Azure AD will uh, behave as a uh, claim provider. That's all we need to do here. And uh, uh, even though we have added the application now, uh, there is one more thing that you need to change and you have to update the manifest of this particular application with the identifier uh, in fact the URI of your 
ADFS. So in our case, it will be services dot trust. If we go back to my VM and let's see what is the error that we are getting. So I'll again try to sign in with the my cloud account. And it will again give us uh, the error of uh, the identifier which uh, my tenant was not able to find. And the moment we'll add that identifier, which is stsconceptswork.com forward slash ADFS forward slash services trust, the moment we'll add this in the identifiers uh, to the application which is known to Azure AD, everything will work as expected. So we'll remove this and we'll remove this colon as well. And now we'll click on save. Now what we'll do is uh, I'll go back to my VM. I'll close this and I'll again open uh, the STS page of my ADFS. I'll click on sign in, I'll click on guest users. Now I'm redirected to Azure AD, my tenant. And here I will try signing in uh, with the guest user, which is already added in my tenant. Just to verify, let me quickly check from the partial as well. Get out from Azure users. So yes, we have this account added as a guest and I'll try logging in with this account now. And it should work and I should be signing in into ADFS IDP initiated page. The same process will work when you have any application because for your application, the claim provider will be ADFS. So ADFS will consume the token provided from Azure AD and then it will create a new token which will be given to the application. So I'll type in my password now and I should be signed in to ADFS page. So this is how it works. And as you can see that I'm signed in now to know more details about uh, this. What you can do is you can take a fiddler and you can analyze uh, what claims are getting exchanged just for your reference. When you navigate to Claim Provider Trust and when you open this, then you can here check the offered claims by Azure AD. Now let's say you have a specific relying party which needs uh, a different set of uh, claims. What you can do is you can come here and check whether that particular claim is available for this particular application that means whether that claim will be issued by Azure AD or not and moreover apart from this what you can do is uh, you can also go ahead and check uh, some of the policies that we can create to send the custom claims so uh, this was all about uh, this particular video if you guys have any questions please feel free to reach me and I'll be happy to help you thank you so much bye bye